sitting in front of me is my Rotel RSX 1562 receiver. And most people would look at this receiver and think that it was outdated and not really worth having for the most part in a home theater in 2025. But there is one feature that this receiver and other receivers like it have that may be of use to some people out there in the home theater community and it would still be useful in 2025. And here today, I'm gonna to talk about that feature. That feature is multi-channel input and how you could effectively turn an older receiver like this into a glorified power amplifier. So if you wanna see how I'm gonna do that, then stay tuned. There are a lot of people in the home theater hobby that don't use a standard AVR receiver as their main hub for their home theater. Instead, there's a fair amount of people out there that use a standalone AV processor and then a power amplifier to amplify their speakers, or in some cases, multiple amplifiers, just depending on their setup and you know different speaker sizes and things like that. But their basic setup is not a standard AVR. It's separates, more or less, is what it's called in the hobby. So what if you wanted to get into the separates in home theater and separate components without venturing into the price range that usually is attached to buying standalone power amplifiers because they can get pretty pricey? Well, a good alternative to that, at least as an entryway into it, is to find an older receiver, such as my Rotel, RSX 1562 that I have right here, and use that as a glorified power amplifier. Now, just briefly, what is multi-channel input? Well, it's kind of what it sounds like. It was initially made for standalone, like fixed line level inputs for disc based media, more or less. So like super audio CD players, DVD players, even Blu-ray players up to a certain point had multi-channel output on them where you could then connect it to the multi-channel input on a dedicated AV receiver. Not necessarily as a power amplifier, but to give you multi-channel surround at like a fixed level input for disc-based players. So like I said, DVD players and Blu-ray players and, and what have you. But you can kind of tweak this and use it in a way to allow you to use the function as a power amplifier, more or less. Now, how would you go about doing that? Well, it's fairly simple. All you would really have to do is find a receiver that has multi-channel input and then a standalone processor. Uh, in my case, I have an Emotiva processor. It is a UMC1 uh, Emotiva processor, but you would need an AV processor of some description. And those processors are going to have multi-channel audio outputs on the back. And what you're gonna do is take just a standard RCA cable, similar to what I have here. These are the ones I use in my setup. These are like a one and a half foot little cable. And all you have to do is connect one end into the audio output, multi-channel output on your AV processor, and then plug it in to the corresponding channel on the back of the receiver. So for example, you would take the cable and plug one end into your center channel out on your AV processor and take the other end and plug it in to the center channel in on the multi-channel input on the receiver you're using as a power amplifier. So once you have everything connected and you make sure all the speakers are connected to the proper inputs and outputs, the only other thing you really have to do is go into the receiver that's basically using your power amplification and select multi-channel input. Now, certain receivers will have it labeled differently. Some of them will say multi-channel input. Some of them, like the Rotel receiver I have here, will say multi-channel direct on it. But you wanna hit whatever that button is, and that will turn your receiver over to multi-channel input. 
multi-channel input on these AVRs is set to bypass any internal processing. So it will give you just straight power amplification out of those connections. Any other adjustments you wanna make, you wanna do in your AV processor. And that's basically it. That's how you set everything up. It's fairly simple. It's basically the same thing as using separates with an AV processor and a standalone power amplifier. The only real difference is you have to go in and click the button to go to multi-channel on the AVR you're using. And you have to make sure you turn the volume knob until you get to reference level. Now I do wanna make one disclaimer here at the end of the video before I say goodbye. And that is this setup and kind of doing this is not for everybody because a lot of people will find the ease and the convenience of just using a standalone AVR with all the inputs like this on the back, all the HDMI inputs or your direct audio inputs if you're using that, and just do all the processing, everything just internally in a single receiver. And that is a lot simpler to do, and honestly, a lot easier with cable management. You don't have all these extra cables running back and forth between a processor and a receiver that you have to take care of. It's all done in one unit in and of itself, and it's a lot simpler. And so this isn't really for everybody. But if you're somebody who wants to get into separates, as I said at the start of the video, this is kind of an easy entryway into it because it'll let you kind of play around with how to do that. But also you can find these older AVRs that can give you at least 100 watts a channel, which may not be as many watts as some standalone power amplifiers, but you can find a lot of these receivers for like $100 or less online. And like I said, 100 watts per channel, while it may not look like a lot, would be enough to handle a small to moderately sized home theater. And if you got a newer processor that could decode Dolby Atmos, DTSX, things like that, you could pair it with something like this, get the more modern processing and AV switching and everything of a standalone processor, and just use this as amplification for your surround sound. Now, one other thing I do wanna mention in case you have an Atmos setup, so you could still buy a full-fledged power amplifier for your main bed layer. And then if you wanna just have one of these receivers set up for your Atmos speakers, whether it's two or four, you could do that as well. And this would still provide you, even at 100 watts per channel, enough for those Atmos speakers because typically you're not gonna get a whole lot of dynamic content coming through the height channels in your setup. It's usually just surround sound effects and you know, it's just an effect channel. So you could also use something like this for that and you could get them again for pretty cheap on the used market. And so that's really what I wanted to talk about here today is just that you could find some life on older AVRs like this, even modernly by getting just a standalone processor, especially a newer one and hooking it up to something like this and getting direct audio from that multi-channel input. And I do wanna say this does work because I use this in my home theater myself. Like I said, I have an Emotiva UMC1 uh, standalone AV processor that I use. And I used to use this as my power amp, but now I use an Onkyo SR805 as my power amplifier. And both of them worked without any issues. So yeah, that's gonna wrap the video up here today. If you enjoyed this video or any of my other content, please feel free to leave a like, uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know if you use separates or if you use a standalone AVR in your home theater, or if you've ever done something like this, where you're kind of using an AVR as a glorified power amp. Uh, and definitely consider subscribing to the channel if you enjoy my content. I have over 100 videos on my channel uh, detailing various home theater topics, not just uh, equipment and things like this. I also talk about movies and some of the other standard fare you would see in home theater kind of channels here on YouTube. And with that, I'm going to say thank you again to everyone. And I will see you the next time in the next video right here on Secondhand Home Theater. Thank you.